The next stitch I'm going to show you is a half treble crochet. Now this stitch is a little bit taller than the previous stitches and so instead of skipping one chain and going into the second chain from the hook, we're going to skip two chains. So this one and this one or go into the third chain from the hook. And this will raise our work to the correct height so we get those nice straight edges that we're looking for. All right, to do this stitch, we yarn over or wrap the yarn around and go down into our chain. Remember, we're going into the third stitch from the hook for our first stitch. And then we pull up a loop and now we have three loops on our hook. Then we yarn over and pull through all three of the loops on the hook. All right. Once we've done that first stitch that raises it up to the right height, now we're going to go directly into the next stitch. And so here's our next stitch. And we're going to yarn over and go down into the next chain and pull up a loop. We now have three loops on the hook. Going to yarn over, go through all three of the loops on the hook. One more time, we're going to go into the next stitch, which is here. Our previous stitch is there. And we're going to yarn over and put our hook through the chain and pull up a loop. We now have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook and we're going to go ahead and do that all the way across and I'll show you this when we get there but as you recall when we get to the end of the row we will now need to chain two at the end of each row in order to bring the hide up to the correct position so that our edges remain straight throughout our work all right so we're going to go ahead and do this all the way across into each stitch across and if you need to you can count to help make sure that you're going into, into each stitch all the way. I've reached the end of my row and now I'm going to chain two. Remember we chain two for this stitch to raise it to the correct height because it's a little bit taller. So it's going to go a little bit faster as you work your way up through the rows. Now we're going to do our first stitch right there back in the last one of the prior row. So put your hook through both loops. Remember our lesson on the front and back loop. Now we have three loops on the hook and then we're going to yarn over and pull through all three. And I'll show you a little bit more closely. So we're going to yarn over. This is a subsequent row after the foundation row. And get our stitch in this stitch. Now we're going to go into the next one and we're going to go through both the front and the back loop. So we Yarn over and go through both loops and pull up a loop. There's three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through all three. And we'll keep going all the way across as we did before. And at the end of each row, we will chain two before we go back and do our st first stitch of that row into the last stitch of the previous row. Here's an example of what several rows of half treble crochet look like up close. I think it's a really beautiful stitch, don't you?